Hi there! I'm Elena, and you're about to discover Kinderpedia. I am here to guide you every step of the way. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to add teachers to the platform, but also how to invite students and parents to your school or kindergarten community under the same digital umbrella. Kinderpedia is more than just a smart tool, and to bring it alive, you need to invite the people who animate it, the users, onto the platform. Let's see how it works. Here's how to add teachers to the platform. Click on Center Management and then click on Staff Management found on the left menu. To add a teacher, click on the top right green Add New User button, tick the role name of the new user and fill in the fields. When you add a teacher on Kinderpedia, it is mandatory to assign them to a class and you can come back whenever a change occurs. The important thing to know is that they will only have access to those classes they are associated with. You can add multiple teachers to a single class or a group. The teacher will receive a confirmation email containing the password. The password is set by the manager when adding the account. And then they can access the kindergarten platform. After you have entered all the data, click on the green Save button and the new user has been successfully added to the platform. Good to know! For schools with a large number of staff, teachers can be automatically imported onto the platform with the help of the Kinderpedia support team. The manager, or anyone with a management role in the platform, is the only person who can add staff and give or limit staff access to groups or classes. Return to the main page by clicking on the dashboard in the left menu and now we will see how to add students manually onto the platform. Go to Children Groups and click on the group you want to add your child to. Click on the green Add Child button on the right-hand side, fill in the required information and then click on the green Add Child button below the child's name. Our support department can also assist you with automatically importing student data, including retrieving it from other platforms. We stay in the Children Groups module to see how we invite parents to Kinderpedia. Next to the child's name you added, the grey Invite Parents button will appear, which you click on. This will open a page to add information about the child and his family. Then, click the green Invite Parents button. Select the account type, fill in the required fields like first name, last name, email address, phone, I will also select the right to pick up the child at the end of the day, make sure you tick the box at the end Send Invite via email and then click Add. The parent will be emailed an invitation and will be able to register on Kinderpedia based on it. You can add a child coming from another Kinderpedia user school or kindergarten by just using the transfer code. It's time to see how you customize access for each user type and add new fields to the platform. Let's see how it works. Click on the Center Management on the left and then click on Roles. In addition to the standard roles of Manager, Teacher, Student or Parent, you can add various other roles to Kinderpedia and customize their access to information according to their needs. For example, to add a Nurse role, press the green button on the right, Add Role. Fill in the role name and click on the Save button. Once the role has been created, it will form a new column among users. We will now tick the boxes next to the modules that the new user will have access to. The nurse will have access to View Children page and the medical records. Good to know! When adding a new user type, it is important to carefully select the function name. When adding a family member, you have several account options – mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, nanny, guardian – and you can select who has the right to pick up the child at the end of the day. The more information you have available, the more transparent and productive the collaboration between the nursery or school and the family is. Let's see how to add new fields to the platform. Let's say you want to enter data on native language and other languages spoken by teachers or students. Here's how to do it. Go to Center Management, then click on Custom Fields. In the next window, click on the green Add New Attribute button in the top right. Here you set up the new attribute from Label Name, Entity Type, Attribute Type. You can also add a description. And if you want it to be mandatory, 
just tick the mandatory box and click the Save button. I hope you found our information useful and I invite you to watch our other tutorials on Kinderpedia features. If you have any concerns or questions, feel free to use our dialog box on the web or in the app to contact my colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news. Have a sunny day!